Hello friends, this video on some natural phenomena part 9 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Now as I said that lightning is extremely hot and the temperature is 54,000 Fahrenheit. So 54,000 Fahrenheit is a very huge temperature. So this is almost 6 times hotter than sun extremely hot so that much of heat is contained in lightning and it causes ex huge damage to life and property it can kill uh, people it can kill animals it can destroy buildings it can burn trees so that's why uh, some of the safety measures need to be taken in terms of lightning so first of all during lightning avoid open places because now how do we know that it is about to lighten now dark clouds and presence of thunder they are indicative of lightning so whenever you have a lot of clouds in the sky you know that okay electric discharges can happen so it is always preferable not to stay outside because lightning preferably will strike the open areas why because as i mentioned just now that the negative the positive charges which is formed on the ground it is generally formed on the noticeable objects for example the trees so the trees are quite tall so the upper end of the trees will have positive charges similarly the upper end of the buildings will have positive charges right so the chances wherever the positive charges are present so the chances of lightning to strike is more because the positive and the negative they are trying to attract each other so definitely the chances are more so it, it is always good not to stay in open areas in fact not to stay under tall trees sometimes when people are outside let's suppose you are outside and you are not inside a building and it suddenly started to lighten so what should you do first of all you should try to find some shelter inside a building or inside a car why because buildings car they all are well protected from lightning so lightning actually cannot burn it because they have the appropriate things to protect against lightning but the most dangerous areas are the tall trees which are very much prone because they are very tall so their upper ends have positive charges so the chances of attraction are more so the chances of lightning being struck is also more also you should avoid shades and picnic areas because they are all open spaces so the lightning can strike anytime now if you are not alone let us suppose if you are in a group say instead of you being alone you are some group of 50 people so please do not stay together because when all of you are staying together all of you are actually developing a positive charge on you so so much of positive charge at one place it is again going to attract the lightning so try to stay away from each other so that the chances of strike is less right in case you do not find any shelter around you like there is no building nearby there is no car nearby so where should you go so in that case try to stay away from tall trees stay away from water because water conducts electricity so the chances of getting electric shock is more so what should you do just stay away from tall trees in some open area sit down put your feet together bend down put your hands over your ears to to prevent any kind of damage that can be caused to your ear and this is how the position has been shown on the screen so this is how you should sit so that your height is not tall enough to get easily attracted by the lightning and at the same time uh, you are not lying at the, on the ground as well because in that case you will act as a path for grounding correct so this is an appropriate thing to do if you do not find any other shelter during lightning the best thing to do is stay inside a building or a vehicle with all windows closed. However, even if you are staying inside a building, please avoid using stuffs which are connected with wires. For example, do not use wire phones, do not talk to somebody on wired phone. Uh, try to disconnect all the electric appliances which are connected through wires because wires conduct electricity. So when there is heavy lightning happening outside, so the chances of uh, the wires carrying the current is also more. Similarly, avoid taking bath during a lightning because water is a very good conductor of electricity. So the chances of getting electric shock increases if you are in continuous touch with running water. 
So as I said, avoid contact with water, avoid shelter under tall trees. Electric appliances like TV, fridge, computers, they should be unplugged. So for as a safety measure. Now in case somebody is already struck by lightning, sometimes it happens that others think that if I touch that person, I'll also get uh, uh, I'll also get electric shock, but that doesn't happen because once lightning has struck somebody, so because of that high temperature, the person would get injuries, but the charges no more accumulate on the body of that person because the charges get grounded, right? Our body is a good conductor. So the, the person, by touching that person, you are not going to get electric shock. So please call for help and provide him first aid. So these are some of the important measures which has to be taken uh, to remain safe from lightning. But the best thing to do is try to stay indoors and uh, try not to be in touch with water or any other conducting material. In fact, when you are outside, also avoid carrying anything which has metal on it. For example, do not carry a laptop bag or any other bag which has metals on it because metals are good conductors. So they tend to attract those charges towards it. Similarly, carrying an umbrella is again a very, very bad idea during lightning. Many people think that, okay, it might start raining, let me carry an umbrella. But when you are actually carrying an umbrella, you have the metallic uh, parts in the umbrella which tend to attract the lightning. So the chances of lightning being struck is more when you are using an umbrella. Now you might be worried that tall buildings are more prone to lightning. Now most of us stay inside tall buildings. So that means we can get attacked by lightning anytime. Well, that's really not the case because the tall buildings are all uh, well protected from lightning with the help of a device called lightning conductors. So this is a device to protect buildings from lightning. Now what do these devices do? Now these are conductors which are placed inside the building in such a way that their height is more than that of the building. So look at this building. So this is a quite a tall building, right? But on the top of this building, you have this small metallic rod. So only this much part will be visible when you see it from outside, right? So this is the lightning rod. But while constructing that building, the lightning rod has been going the entire height of the building and it goes to the bottom below the ground level and then it is connected to a ground rod. So this is basically the lightning rod which we can see from outside on the top of the building. So if you go to your the roof of your building, maybe you'll be able to see a lightning conductor, a metallic rod which is present at the top of your building. And then at the bottom, so it is connected from below the ground till that top. So at the bottom you have this piece of rod which is called the ground rod. And how is the lightning rod connected to the ground rod? Through a wire. So this is nothing but a wire. Now what happens whenever lightning strikes? Now if you see this is the height of the building but this is the height of the lightning rod. So the this lightning rod because it is a good conductor so what will happen it will attract the charges so the lightning will come here that is the excess of charges will come here and that will directly go through this wire and it will get grounded so the entire building gets well protection from lightning so this type of lightning conductors are present in all buildings during construction itself these conductors are present and that is why you would have seen that mostly uh, the lightning attacks the small houses which are not provided with these kind of conductors. So in that case it directly hits the building and that's how everything gets destroyed. Otherwise if you look at um, the entire world there are so many buildings which are so tall. So you have so many tall towers present throughout the world. So had there been no lightning conductors in that case, had there been no concept of lightning conductor, in that case all those tall buildings would have been burned sometime or the other by lightning. But that doesn't happen due to the presence of this concept of lightning conductor. So these conductors are made up of materials which are good conductors of electricity, mostly metals. Metals are very good conductors of electricity. So if you make it with metal, so what will happen as soon as those electric the charges, the negative charges which are present on the bottom of the cloud, they tend to get attracted by these metals and then the charges flow through this good conductor and it gets earthed, it goes to the ground. So no damage is caused to the building. 
So with this, we have discussed about the phenomenon of lightning and I hope that by now you know and all your myth is clear that why is lightning caused? Lightning is nothing but an electric discharge. It happens when a lot of electric charges get accumulated in the cloud and due to the attraction of the charges, there is electric discharge and that electric discharge is seen as lightning. So how can we protect ourselves from lightning and how are the buildings protected from lightning? So all these things have already been explained. Thank you. Please visit www.examfear.com to watch more educational videos with a better experience. Please do not forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel for latest updates. Thank you once again.